Many people confuse the American pit bull and the American bully as the same dog. These two pups are in fact not the same. While they do share some similarities, there are some differences when it comes to their sizes and their builds. Hi everyone, this is Dog Dingda. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do subscribe on our channel for your daily supply of dog related contents. For this video, we will talk about the two pitbull dogs, the American pitbull and the American bully. The American Pitbull Terrier and the American Bully are both very similar dogs and that's because they are both Pitbull type dogs. But there are a few differences that set two dogs apart. Let's jump into the video and compare these two pups by taking a look at the differences and similarities. Pitbull Histories the American Pit Bull Terrier, known simply as the Pit Bull, originates from the 18s across the pond in England. His ancestors were produced by mixing bulldogs and terriers to create the perfect fighting dog. He was used in blood sports to fight another dog and kill as many rats in the ring as possible. When the cruel sport was banned in England, the fighters took their fighting dogs to America. There, the largest, most successful breeds were bred with another to create the pit bull. And this is why they have a fearsome reputation. But when fighting was banned in America, people began to realize just how soft and devoted he is. He became a popular ranch hand and therapy dog too. And with canin education, more families worldwide are inviting this gorgeous dog into their family homes. He is not recognized by the American Kennel Club, but he is recognized by the United Kennel Club. The American Bully Histories The American Bully is one of four dogs that came under the Pitbull type dog umbrella. He is a natural extension of the Pitbull, which is why they are both very similar. It is believed that the American Bulldog, English Bulldog and Old English Bulldog were also used in this creation. He originates from America and he was recognized as a dog breed in his own right by the UKC in 2013. This dog shares the same misunderstood reputation as the American Pit Bull Terrier and he is also subject to breed specific legislation. The American Bully is somewhat of a celeb in Bully Dog world and the most expensive bully named White Reno faced a whopping quarter of a million dollars, making him a very sought after stud. The American Pit Bull Terrier vs. The American Bully Appearance Although they are often both described as pit bulls, these two dogs are very different looking. The pit bull usually measures between 17 and 21 inches tall from paw to shoulder and he weighs between 30 and 65 pounds making him a medium to sometimes large sized dog. His average size makes the pity suitable for most family homes. According to the American Bully Kennel Club, there are four distinct American Bully sizes. The smallest size is the Pocket, leading on to the Standard, Classic and Excel, depending on which Bully size you choose. Bullies tend to weigh anywhere between 25 and 120 pounds. With this remarkable weight range in mind, you need to know which size Bully you are inviting onto your home. Their height ranges from 13 to 23 inches. A bully named Hulk holds the record for 174 pounds. The Pitbull is muscular and athletic in appearance and an overall proportionate looking dog. The bully is not a proportionately built dog which is the easiest way to tell them apart. The bully is a squat and wider dog than he is tall. He looks a lot like an English bulldog but wider with other muscles. It is their scary dog appearance combined with their history that makes people unduly frightened. You have got only to look at their ear to ear smiles to know they are big softies. Both dogs have short, straight, double coats that are smooth to the touch. Their coats are soft and the other bully is often described as being a velvet hippo. 
they both enjoy a wide range of doggy colors. The most popular pitbull colors are white, red-nosed and blue-nosed. Some irresponsible breeders will try to sell mere pitbulls and bullies, but this will not be true pitties or bullies. American Pitbull Terrier vs. the American Bully Temperament Both dogs are almost identical in their temperament. They are both people-oriented dogs that crave human company. Without it, they will become sad, frustrated and anxious. If your family cannot offer them company for most of the day, you should not look at this breed for sure. But if you can, you will find a four-legged bestie can shadow in both of these guys. They both make great family additions and they are both very fond of children. They are both referred to as nanny dogs. You shouldn't leave children alone with any dogs but you can be sure that these guys will be naturally drawn to relaxing with and protecting your kiddos. They are very in tune with humans and their emotions and this is why they are both top choices for therapy dogs. They are both as loyal as each other and will defend their family in the face of danger. However, the reality is that these guys are naturally friendly and do not make great guard dogs unless trained to do so. After a day of fun, they will love nothing more than lying on the bed with you for cuddles. They are both as affectionate as one another, but some might say the chunkier roly bullies give warmer cuddle. American Pit Bull Terrier vs. The American Bully Exercise both dogs are fairly similar when it comes to their exercise needs. They both require 60 minutes of exercise every day to be happy and healthy. Neither of these guys are couch potatoes, even the chunky American bully. If we had to choose one breed that was more active than the other, it would have to be the pit bull. The pit bull is more agile, athletic and needs more mental stimulation throughout the day. The bully with his English bulldog blood is partial to lazing around in between exercise sessions. Both are tenacious and tough in play, so be sure to pick a tough toy that can withstand their constant play. Pitbulls are perceived as slightly more intelligent than the bully, so be sure to invest in a few puzzle toys to keep him entertained. Keep their exercise varied and provide them with interactive play and you shouldn't find a bored pup on your hands. Because of their fair reputation, it is as advised to keep them both on a leash when out in public. Although they aren't the ones likely to be causing trouble, all dogs have an element of unpredictability. Whichever dog you choose, you should check out your local BSL laws too. Some states require bully type dogs to be muzzled in public and some do not permit entrance to doggy parks. American Pit Bull Terrier vs. The American Bully Training Both dogs are slightly different when it comes to their training needs and abilities. Pit Bulls are very trainable dogs who are both eager to please and intelligent. With a little doggy training research, he is suitable for first-time dog owners. Again, the bully, thanks to his English bulldog genes, can be a little more stubborn and headstrong. He requires a more experienced dog owner who can get the best out of him and his independent ways. Both of these dogs must be socialized well from their day one. A quality breeder will start training before you get them home and it will be your job to continue it. Mix them both with as many dogs and humans as you can and expose them to different sounds, sights and smells too. Because of the pit bull's dog fighting past, he might display fear aggression tendencies more than the bully if he is not socialized properly. Both dogs respond based to positive reinforcement training, so be sure to research and utilize it. No dog should be exposed to harsh temperament or training techniques, but especially not powerful dogs such as these. Because mixing the two can create dangerous dogs. Find out the motivates your post the base. The bully is likely to be motivated by treats and pit bulls will be motivated by most things including toys. 
American Pit Bull Terrier vs. the American Bully Health. Both of these dogs enjoy good canine health, especially bulldogs. The pit bull enjoys an average lifespan of 12 to 16 years compared to the bully who enjoys 9 to 13 years. Like all dogs, both of these guys are prone to certain health conditions more than others. Feeding your pup the best quality food, keeping them fit and attending regular health checkups will extend their years for sure. Like many other dogs, pit bulls are predisposed to hip dysplasia. This is a congenital condition that occurs when the hip socket and the upper thigh bone do not sit as they should. This can cause the hip to dislocate and tighten the chance of painful arthritis in later life. Similarly, American bullies also suffers from hip dysplasia. A variety of eye conditions affect the bully, such as progressive retinal arthropy, cataracts, and cherry eye. Good quality breeders will test for cardiac irregularities, which is something picked up from the English Bulldog genetics. American Pit Bull Terrier vs. the American Bully Nutrition It is difficult to compare these two regarding nutrition simply because of the American Bully's vastly ranging weight and nutritional needs. The average Pit Bull will consume between 2 and 3 cups of food a day. But the Bully could consume anywhere between 1 and a half of 5 cups of food a day meaning the monthly food bill could be completely different or almost the same. Ultimately, you should follow the food packaging for tailored advice. American bullies should eat a kibble suggested for the bully, and pit bulls will do best on a kibble recommended specifically for them. As well, like all dogs, feed them the best food that you can afford because diet can make a real difference to canin health. Be sure to feed them both age-appropriate food, especially during puppyhood because it lays the fun foundation for a healthy body. Many pit bull type dog owners state that bully gas is the worst of all. So that's all friends, the pit bull and the American bully in all their glory. The main differences of note are that the bully is sometimes larger in size, they can have a shorter lifespan and they can be more stubborn to train. But as you can see from our canine comparison, they are more similar than they are different. They are both lumped into the same scary bully dogs. With that comes a public fear and some unfortunate BSL loss. But if you can look past that, you will most certainly find a cuddly canning to join your family.